Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how to modify the chart axes, labels, and grid lines. So with that, let's get started. All right, so the axes, labels, and grid lines are some of the more important elements of a chart because they indicate what you're looking at. So we wanted to take a video and just kind of describe how you might modify these individual elements each on their own and make sure that it's a pretty thorough tutorial. So Earlier in the course, we created this perhaps ugly chart, and it was showing the sales by region for these over these four different quarters. But we have access titles, however, we don't actually have labels. So if you have access titles, you would be able to change whether or not you have titles by going to the chart elements. Let's say that you do have titles. If you want to modify the individual title, you could just click and then double click. Once you have the text highlighted, you could go ahead and type in something like region. The same would go here. You could go and say sales in US dollars. And then the chart title, you could say regional sales forward. 2014, but it might be better to say tech company, regional sales, or maybe even 2014 regional sales. Anyway, you would want to determine the appropriate title. And then once you have that title in mind, you could click and change the title. Now, if we click back on one of the chart elements, we could say add things like grid lines. Grid lines can be really useful. Currently we have some horizontal, I think major grid lines or primary major horizontal, we could turn those off and we could add vertical, which in this case might not be so useful, or we can have um, mini horizontal. Now these might be useful if you were to have data labels, although in this case, it seems like it would be pretty cramped. If we wanted to adjust this, we could grab the corner of our chart and scroll it out and I think it probably is just because we're showing so much data. So if we wanted to say, just show it for one quarter, we could select that, apply, and then that would, uh, those data labels would perhaps make a lot more sense. If you wanted to reset, reset the chart formatting, you could go to design and then uh, click, pick one of these styles and it would automatically change those uh, formatting decisions that you had made earlier, the things like the red text and the the green fill and the yellow uh, the yellow coloring. Once you click a chart style, it will go back to the default layout of that chart based on your color groups and different things. So, if and when you decide to change uh, the style or any of these different elements, you might want to be careful. Sometimes it's useful to create a copy of your chart. And that's what we're going to discuss in the next video. In the next video, we'll formally talk about how to copy and paste charts into Microsoft Excel. So join us for that next video and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.